Hello dear students, today we are going to do an interesting activity and now I am going to share with you how to find the center of a circle when it is not known. So for this I have taken a circular cutout. So you can see that boundary of this uh, piece is a circle. So we need to find out the center. So there can be many ways of doing so. But for me, I prefer to find the center by following a process. And the process is you get two chords which are not parallel to each other. Right? So, you know what is a chord? A chord is a line segment which is uh, formed by joining two points on the boundary of the circle. So here you can see that uh, by paper folding I have got this chord AB and points A and B they are on the boundary of the circle. So I need to now get another chord which is not parallel to AB. I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing so. So let me take another chord by folding so you can see that it's so simple to get the chord by paper folding so here this is another chord and let us name this chord as CD so point C and D are on the boundary of the circle right now I hope you have watched the previous video in which we did some basic paper folding activities in which we learned how to find the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. I hope you remember that. So the next thing is we are going to get the perpendicular bisector of the two chords which we have taken. So first of all we will get the perpendicular bisector of AB. So how do we do this? Fold along AB in such a way that point B falls on A completely. So you get a crease and this crease is representing the perpendicular bisector of AB. So what is the perpendicular bisector? Yes, it's a line which bisects the line segment into two equal parts and at the same time it makes a 90 degree angle with the line segment so basically it is perpendicular to AB so I can name this as PM so here M is midpoint of AB and PM is perpendicular to AB right so we have got the perpendicular bisector of first chord which is AB same way we will be getting the perpendicular bisector of the second chord which is CD so process is very simple, fold along CD in such a way that point D falls on C completely and then we make a crease, unfold it and then on the crease we can easily mark the perpendicular bisector. So here I am going to take the name R and this is S. So RS is perpendicular to CD and CS is equal to SD. So RS is perpendicular bisector of the second chord which is CD. Now you notice carefully. Yes, make some observations. Look into this carefully. What do you notice? Yes, you are right. Both the perpendicular bisectors they meet at a point and this point of intersection I am marking this as O will be the center of the circle. Right? So perpendicular bisectors of the chord they pass through the center of the circle. This is a basic result. So we have used it for getting the center of the circle right so we can uh, you know do this 
using construction also so here i have taken a compass and a pencil so we can quickly draw a circle and then we will see you know before this let me first set the tip of the pencil aligned with the compass okay okay so now i am going to draw a circle first uh, you, you see here this is a circle okay and then here you see that we can draw any chord this is a b and another chord which is not parallel to a b this is c d because you know when they become parallel see what happens i'll demonstrate that as well and now you know i have taken this as the center so you will uh, be watching carefully that if i draw the perpendicular bisectors of a b and c d uh, they will pass through this point which is the center of the circle so how to get the perpendicular bisector with b as center and radius more than half of uh, a b i am making two arcs and with a as center and radius same radius i am intersecting the previous arcs so here we can complete this okay now with c as center and radius more than half of cd we can draw an arc on both the sides of cd similarly with d as center we can intersect the previously drawn arcs okay so now you see let, let us draw the perpendicular bisectors so first we will draw the perpendicular bisector of uh, ab and then we will draw the perpendicular bisector of cd and notice carefully this is the point of int intersection and this is the place where we put the needle to draw the circle so that's the center right so the center of the circle always passes through the perpendicular bisector now my question was like if i take parallel chords what what will happen what will happen in that case so let us first draw the circle and then we will see if we take the parallel chords what will happen i'm using the two edges of this ruler to get the parallel chords okay so see what happens in this case if i take two chords as parallel and try to draw the perpendicular bisectors of these two chords see what happens this is the first perpendicular bisector and let us draw the perpendicular bisector of the second chord what do you notice yes it is the same line it is the same line so we cannot locate the center in this case right so if we need to find the center of the circle we need to have two chords which are not parallel to each other like we demonstrated in this so i hope the method is clear to you how to get the center of the circle